Hello, what is up guys? It's me, King Group here, back again with another video. And I'm going to show you the quickest way to do expert missions and how I did this one. So first off, you want to have maximum charge, uh, whatever awoken skill. I use potential unleash as shown in the footage here. And I decided to use a hero pose. I never used those in battles, but I said screw it. So the pose I used was hero pose. And make sure you have a lot of key and a decent amount of stamina. And this is, I believe, X permission 14, 15, I think 14. And this is the one with great apes, so yeah. So for this one, you're gonna have to use Supernova, which is what most people use. And since I had so much key, I decided to use another move. Since I think I have eight bars of key, eight, eight to nine. So since Supernova is 500 key or five bars, I still have three or four, so I use Super Electric Strike since it's powerful and it's good for expert missions too. So as you can see, um, whenever the stamina bar is broken, I suggest you go behind the tail and then when the stamina bar is regening and it's about to be full, you just grab the eight by the tail and then it'll do extra damage. That's what I was trying to do with all these battles as I pre-recorded these and then I added a voiceover. So yeah. And when you use Supernova, make sure you're backed up. So that way, um, it will land easier. And when you're backed up, the ape will attack one of the AI enemies. And if you're doing this online, make sure you have a friend that will just draw the attention of the ape. Excuse me. He'll draw the attention by the ape by uh, going up to it and just annoying it. So it'll attack that friend and then you get the supernova. But I'm showing you I could do this all, uh, offline. So this took like less than 10 minutes to do. And if you're grinding for TP medals, I really suggest this since uh, TP medals suck. But now this is the one thing I had trouble with. Uh, whenever I did this, as, you, as I'm being an idiot trying to punch the great ape. Now, what you could do is do this and, and just try to help it. But I found that the AI actually always does it by itself. And while that animation is happening, while the ball is attacking the ape, you have time to charge up, so I suggest you use that to your advantage. And I'll baby Vegeta. Now, I believe this is the part where you have the unblockable move that always hits you, which I hate and I think is stupid. But whatever. Um, as you can see, I, you should always charge up for a hero pose since it boosts up all attributes and effects. And whenever the ape is on the ground, I suggest you always attack the tail because, well, you're gonna see. You can always use your heavy attacks, and then when the bar is almost filled up, just grab the tail for some extra damage. Now this is the move you always have to block, and you know it's coming when, whenever uh, the screen turns purple for a second. And I suggest every time you grab the tail, you just snap vanish back really quickly because um, it will do like a energy energy volley where it just protects itself and you'll just get a ton of damage. But one backfire to grabbing the tail is that sometimes the AI being stupid, it will just grab the tail. So yeah, that will also suck as I break my stamina. one less to go now Bardock if he is the one that's next yes Bardock now this one is the most annoying one of all because of two things actually one the one where you always get hit no matter what uh, where just random volleys of attacks hit you and the other one is when you get split up into a different dimension and uh, 
you get separated from your allies. While I was recording this the first time, I almost, no, I, I failed because all my allies died and then, and then I had low health because of that unavoidable move. So what I suggest you do is when you see the sky turn purple when Bardock does it especially, just stop whatever you're doing and just uh, guard. You know, it'll reduce your stamina. It's uh, better than taking maximum damage. Also, you have to be careful when attacking the enemy's tail because I think it was here. No, so it was a different part. When I grabbed the tail, I actually grabbed it at the wrong time. And, oh, here's the unavo unavoidable attack. See, this attack really lowers your health if you're not prepared. So always have a lot of stamina so you can block it more and reduce the damage. And now as Bardock gets up, make sure that uh, no allies are blocking you. Yeah, this was the part. I grabbed onto it too late, and it, he did that. And I think I almost failed this part because I was trying to charge up or something like that. I don't know. And that's also a sign that the AI can block attacks very well my without my help. Which also gives me enough time and lets me save key for Supernova. Now, if you repeat this method a bunch of times, eventually the boss battle will get worn out. And then you have an opening for an attack, which is right here, perfectly timed. But this part is why I say you need to have a lot of stamina. Since once the ultimate attack comes that you can't dodge... It's hard, it's, you take a lot of damage from Bardock and Baby Vegeta's ultimate attack, you can't dodge. And then you get thrown into a random battle with an AI. So that's not good. Powers will have you cowering in fear like a little baby. Okay. Um, <laughs> so now all you have to do is beat up this AI, deal with him. And right, return back to the field. Impressive. But I do recommend when you get back from the battle. Wrong move. I do recommend once you get back from the battle that that uh you break all the dimensions that your AI is stuck in because the AI battles I don't even know if it's possible for them to get out. Maybe it is, but it's, it's almost. Not, it's it's basically impossible. So you're gonna have to break your AI free. You got to be kidding me. Also, before you do return to the battlefield, I recommend you restore your health because breaking the crystal things sometimes you'll need some key to break them if you want to use your attacks, your key blast attacks, or your physical attacks. So just make sure that you break all these crystals so your teammates can come back through. I eventually was checking around to see in case I missed any of them, but then I got bored and decided to kill Bardock. So, yeah, basically. And if you have like the worst uh, voice, the voice chosen for your character like I do with mine, you're gonna get here, get out of my sight a lot and be annoyed. Because, <laughs> uh, that was a mistake. And there we go, we finally beat Bardock, guys. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, share with a friend. And as always, have a good day. Goodbye.
Uh, hey guys, uh, I forgot to mention some stuff here. I not not really important stuff. You can skip. You can end the video here if you really want to. But uh, um, I forgot to mention that you could use this method in a multitude of ways with um with uh other super moves. And I believe there was a part of the video when I was coming back to the field, I said you could restore your your health. That's unless you have Toa's ultimate move, which is healing something. I I don't know. I forgot. And I meant to say restore key. I realized how much of an idiot I was, but I was too lazy to re record that. Anyways, guys, that's really it. Um, thank you for the love and support on our channel recently. We have reached 40 subscribers. That means the world to me. And yeah, this is the real ending. Bye.